Tonight we are learning more about the brutal murder involving two roommates who were Radford University students. Police say Alexa Cannon was found dead in her apartment yesterday. She was a 2016 graduate of Patrick Henry High School in Roanoke. Her roommate, 21-year-old Louisa Cutting from Culpeper County, faces a second-degree murder charge in her death. New video tonight going viral on social media. Take a look here in the local community showing the moments that Cutting was arrested. Search warrants also describe a bloody scene that the officers found when they arrived yesterday. We have for you tonight live team coverage from Radford to Roanoke with what we're learning about the victim. But first, we're hearing from city and school leaders as the murder investigation continues. 10 News reporter Tommy Lopez live tonight outside the police department with new details and more reaction. Tommy. City of Radford and Radford University officials are calling this incident tragic as the community is continuing to heal and as police here at the department are continuing to investigate officers are asking anyone with information to contact them. Jenny Wilder, a spokeswoman for the city of Radford, says police are still looking for a motive. Our thoughts, of course, are with the families affected by this and, um, of course, with our community. And we just want to reassure the Radford community that the police are investigating this and they'll continue to do all they can to keep the community safe. At Radford University, officials have made sure counselors have been available for students and staff. Spokeswoman Caitlin Skaggs says the community is trying to come together. We are certainly heartbroken. We are feeling devastated that we have lost one of our own, um, a Highlander with true promise and a future. Search warrants paint a gruesome picture of the crime scene as police walked into the off-campus apartment the two shared on Clement Street. They say Cutting answered the door covered in blood. She told officers to arrest her, telling them, quote, I killed her. Officers saw Cannon lying on the ground with multiple stab wounds. They took a serrated butcher knife from the scene, Cannon's cell phone, and other items like pills and drug paraphernalia. Radford suspended cutting, but school officials say they can't tell us if that happened before this incident. There is not a date set yet as of now for an initial court hearing for cutting. We'll have more perspective on just how rare incidents like these are here in Radford tonight on 10 News at 6. Live in Radford, I'm Tommy Lopez, 10 News, working for you.